switch so when you fire the pump up which I think I spoke about yesterday you that pressure will go up that ball will sense that pressure here and then hopefully that will then fire up the border it's not sensing that pressure so one of the ways you can test that that there is by draining the boiler down if the if you can see here the boiler is completely drained but yeah it's still at 1.6 bar so you can see that See, it's at 1.6. But how can it be at 1.6 when there's it's no completely, it's completely drained. drained? So obviously that shows that there's an issue with that. So what we're going to do is replace that. Let's quickly replace that. I'll take this apart. So we can see it. Right at the back there, can you see? See it there? That's what we're going to replace now. Let's isolate the boiler. There we go, that's gone off. What we'll do is we'll double check that that's actually off. Which we'll do from here. There we go, just double check. That's actually dead. Double check that's dead. So, so see. So that's off. I'll just double check my stuff works. Just double check it's actually working. So yeah, that's off. So you can see that's dead there. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's dead. Let's fill your fire. We'll have two iPhones full of you. Right, okay, so as you can see now, we've just replaced that. Um, now you can see it's come up with a fog code that we would want it to come up with, which is obviously low pressure, because obviously there's no pressure in it. So we're gonna bang some pressure in there now. We'll open these up under here, which are a bit of a pain sometimes. So that one's open, you see that? And then we'll open this one as well. And then we'll fill the pressure up. This I believe is upstairs. So give me two secs and I will go fill that up while you keep an eye on this, Charlie. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. Okay, so. You can just cut it all, all out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look, now you can see it's so 1.2 bar. So I've just filled that up upstairs, 1.2 bar. And the boiler's working. I just gotta put this back on. They say this is probably the most common fault on a Valent is this. Pressure switch. Yeah, the pressure sensor on it, yeah. Um, so F75. You can do that as well. Drops off on the floor like a donut. But S75, it's also a cheap fix as well, like yeah. the parts like 30 quid. So I always start off with the cheapest cheap solution yeah. and the most obvious. Right, we'll make sure. There you go. She's firing up. Job done. Jobs are doing. So we've got our circuit board. So it's ESI, right? So normally what you'd have is something similar to this. All right, so normally if you go to a normal cylinder, you'd have something similar to that, just a basic wiring sensor, something hopefully a little bit yeah. neater, but you'd effectively have that, a jumble of wires. Inside there, what, if you ever have problems with the hot water heating, what you're looking for is these. 
these these colors here all the rest are effectively just switched like lives neutrals yeah. and stuff so like you look at that and go i have no idea what i'm doing right so you gotta look at it and go well that one's a neutral so that's irrelevant mm -hmm. that's an earth that's irrelevant so now you've got three right that's a switch back to the boiler so that's that's what tells the boiler to fire up that orange yeah the gray there is always live so permanent and then obviously you've got another switch live which opens the motor simple really and that's all you're looking for obviously on these instead of having to wire that up you just have these little little connectors them, yeah. um the good thing about them is easy to wire because you don't have to wire all this up in, in something like that yeah. you literally just <clears throat> clip them obviously that does mean you're then tied into this ecosystem yeah. rather than for example you could pick up a, a honeywell valve and just do that on any one or a drayton valve whatever's on kind of offer yeah whereas things. this there's a potential you can't get that you have to order it mm. um which obviously is a pain so so what we've done to test that is working we've switched those two round that one then goes still does the same thing and that one works so we know it's not the circuit board it's not the stack downstairs it has to be that yeah all right so that's pretty much where we're at okay so we've switched them round so that should be the broken one now, which eventually will go off. The So something, with a unvented cylinder like this, you always need to make sure you have a two-port valve, right? The reason you have a two-port valve is a two-port valve will shut. So this will go, it's basically on or off, right? Yeah. So say, for example, you have an issue with the boiler, there's a way of shutting the heat off to the cylinder. Yeah. If, for example, you had a Y plan with a three-port, it wouldn't. So the a three port valve never really shuts. You either got hot water, mm. heating, or both. Right? So and you said here earlier about that fell, wherever that says. What a um three port valve will do it it will always fail to hot water. Yeah. So say for example there's an issue, it'll fail to hot water and dump the heat in here, which we don't want to dump the heat into that yeah. cylinder. Yeah because we need to protect that cylinder because it's a sealed system, it's a pressurized cylinder. Yeah. If that gets too hot, potentially become quite a bad issue. Also, you can never have these on a fuel that you can't turn off. So you can't have this on, say, for example, uh, a solid fuel like a log burner yeah. because you can't turn a log burner off. Yeah. Well, with, this. with a gas boiler, you just turn the gas off. Yeah. You can't just turn the log burner off, can you? No. So, all right, so that's just a few... So on, on an unvent cylinder, it always has to have a two port, yeah. and it can't can't be on solid fuel. It has to be on something you can turn off. Oil's okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Twelve seconds later. So as you can see, we have two different valves. They're the same valve, but they have a different head. If you notice, one has like a connector bit, and one's just like hard wired. The reason that is because apparently kids were putting their fingers in it. Don't know how often, but they do. So easy, just connect up these little connectors. You know, you literally just plug it in. The annoying bit is you can't then cut the cable down, which is a bit annoying. Um, so it is what it is. So what we did is just roll it up and put it behind the pipe work um, just so it's neat. Um, yeah, so you just plug it in, screw it up, and that's pretty much it, really. Here, here it is done. Hot water's working, heating's working, and um, jobs are good in.